Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a very simple vending machine. This design is great to use on servers for you and your friends. So basically how this works is you're going to start off by, well, I guess I'll just show you the redstone first. It's very simple as you can see. But basically how it works is you set your currency in, like, well, later on the tutorial, and you'll put one of your currency into the dropper, press the button, and then ejected will be the item you choose to sell. In my case, I chose to do diamonds for beetroots because, well, of course that's a great trade. To start off, we're going to be placing some of our blocks in a 4x3 area. And we're going to put three in the back, and then kind of fill in this whole area here. But we're going to leave some out. So just build this frame like I'm showing here, and then I'll show you how to, to uh, modify it. So first you're going to place your dropper like that. Actually, wait, uh, let's place in the giving dropper first. So you're going to place that one facing that way, so it faces towards the player, and then the other one facing backwards. This is very important. Next, you're going to place a comparator on the back of that dropper, and then a redstone dust in the corner like so. Then two blocks with two more redstone dust on top of it. Then a redstone torch like so. There, you got most of the redstone done. But now we're going to place a chest, and this is going to be where your currency goes. You don't have to fill it in, but I'm just showing. Then you're going to place a hopper that is facing into the chest. So just shift click the chest with the hopper and it will point towards it. Then you are going to take any block and you're going to place four in the last columns and then 18 of what you want people to pay for your product. There. This is what we call an item filter and it's going to be very important for this design to work. So just pretty much do what I've done. You can change the iron blocks for anything and of course you can change the 18 diamonds for anything. Then just place a button on the front and fill up the bottom dropper with whatever you want to sell. This is going to be what's given to your customers. And well, last thing to do is to test it out. So as you can see, we place the diamond in, press the button, and we got a beat root. If everything worked, great. If it didn't, go check back in the video. But anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.